Friends, today in this video, I am going to explain you that this MCB you use, if this MCB got tripped, then in this condition, how you will get alarmed. Like you know in our home, offices, there are some type of MCB which must not trip. And if somehow MCB trips, then in this condition, this hooter here, this hooter must start generating alarm. If you want any alarm to be generated, then simply you can use this type of hooter. I can show direct connection of this hooter, but in that condition some problem occurs. There will be current in the wire of hooter always. And if you even turn off the MCB, then holder of this bulb, if you check voltage here, you will find some voltage here. So I am not going to tell you any connection which is not safe. If you want to make MCB trip indication in a proper way, or we can say MCB trip alarm, then you can use this type of relay. Few days ago I made a video in which I told you that by using auxiliary contact of MCB, how we can glow an indication lamp. But if you go to buy this auxiliary contact, then hardly you can find it. So best way is this MCB you have, if you want to make trip indication of this MCB, I mean trip alarm, then use this type of glass relay. Now how to do connection of all these, let's understand. Friends what you have to do, this hooter here, take these two wires of the hooter and in this relay there is NC contact. Connect wires with this. In this relay if you look at the terminals below, terminal number 1 and 4, with these two NC contact you have to connect the wires of this hooter. So I am taking these wires and connecting with NC contact of relay. Friends, I am using NC contact of this relay because when this MCB goes off, then in this condition, hooter's alarm should sound. And at common terminal of this relay, we have to provide input power supply. To provide input power supply, what you should do, this MCB you have at incoming terminal of MCB where you connected phase supply and neutral supply, with these terminals only, you have to connect two wires. So I am taking two wires here and in this MCB at input terminal, like here neutral supply is connected, so with same terminal I am connecting black wire for neutral supply. After this, at this terminal I am connecting blue wire, so that phase supply start flowing through this wire. Now take other end of this wire and in this relay with common terminal connect this wire. So I am connecting these wires directly. Wiring we done till now, in this, only to operate this hooter, wiring is done here. After this, to turn on this relay, we need to do connection. For connection of this relay, what you should do is, this MCB here, with output terminal of MCB, connect two wires. Wire which we are going to use for phase supply, we have to connect this wire with phase terminal. Remember, you have to connect this wire at output terminal of MCB. It means current will flow in this wire when MCB is turned on. On turning on MCB, phase supply will flow in this wire. Now power supply through this wire will go to 13 number terminal of this relay. So below is 13 number terminal. So with this terminal, I am connecting this wire. Now take this black wire and with neutral terminal of MCB, connect this wire. So I am connecting this wire here. Now power supply from this wire will go to 14 number terminal of relay, so I am connecting wire here. All the connections are now completed. What is done in this connection is, to turn on this relay, power supply is provided from output terminal of MCB. And this hooter here, to turn on this hooter, NC contact of this relay is used. So only this much simple connection is done here. Now let's connect this relay with base. Here it is done. After this, I am turning on MCB. After turning on MCB, incoming power supply connected here, let's connect this also. So to this MCB, I provided power supply. You can see this lamp is glowing now. Now this MCB here, due to any reason, if this MCB somehow trips, you just saw, the moment MCB got tripped, hooter generated alarming sound. In place of hooter, you can use indication lamp also if you want. Or whatever device you want to operate, after tripping of this MCB, you can do the connection of it here. This type of connection is mostly used in industries where on tripping of this MCB, a huge problem may occur. So when MCB trips, then suddenly we should get alarmed that MCB got tripped. So for this condition, we make this type of circuit so that when MCB got tripped, we must know that MCB got tripped. We need to check it or reset it. 
Friends, if you want to know how to connect trip indication lamp for MCB, then click on this right hand side video to watch. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.